Hello and welcome everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4 and we are playing as Milan. Uh, we just finished up our last set of games as the Comanche over here. Uh, and I was trying to figure out what to do. Um, I know I had originally mentioned that I wanted to play maybe one of these, uh, you know, horde nations over here and, uh, you know, play around with them and there's an achievement for westernizing them, I think. Uh, but there's actually a big patch coming out very soon. Um, I say very soon with quotation fingers and trademarked and all that. Uh, because I don't actually know when it's coming out. It's coming out, I think it's 1.5. It's supposed to change a lot in terms of protectorates and non-Western countries, things like that. But I don't quite know when it actually is coming out. So I decided, well, why not play something different, do a little bit of, um... Uh, sorry, I had something in my teeth there. Uh, do a little bit of uh, sort of another interesting game. So we are we're going for the Italian Ambition Achievement, in case you guys hadn't figured that out by our starting location. Um, yeah, there's a mission to form Italy. Uh, I can show you it here. And there's an achievement for the same thing. So, you know, why not? Give it a shot, huh? Uh, so, yeah, I figure, you know, we'll we'll play this... Form Italy, get the achievement, you know, maybe screw around in the Holy Roman Empire, because we are part of it now, you can see. Uh, and, you know, see what comes of things. And then, uh, then maybe once the patch comes, we can start a more, a longer term game as opposed to, uh, something a bit shorter. So, if I'm remembering my Italy starts well, um, Russia is actually our core. Uh, and Venice has recently taken it from us, I believe. Yeah, they've taken our core from us. Um, Austria is the emperor. You know, since Austria likes us, and since they're the emperor, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to make sure that we get an alliance with Austria, because I want... Uh, I want them to like me. Uh, and let me see what we need. We need... Uh, Firenze, Siena, Roma, and Ancona for our forming Italy. Okay, so it's these four, as well as Lombardia, which we already have. So, uh, as long as, you know, we need to take these four uh, areas while avoiding being eaten by Venice. Uh, and I suspect Savoy and Switzerland as well will cause problems. Um, and actually... I've been trying to figure out what to do, and I'm thinking this is what I'll do. I'm going to go to war with Switzerland first. First. Uh, I know that sounds weird. Why would you go to war with Switzerland? They're not even in the direction we need to go. But if I can go to war with them, vassalize them, then go to war with Savoy, give back these cores to Switzerland, uh, I can then, you know, absorb all of this, make myself a bit bigger, because right now, and if I'm checking, if I remember... I've played around in this area before, uh, off-camera, before I started recording things. Uh, armies. Venice. Venice has 13,000 troops with room for 18,000. We have 7,000 with room for 10,000. So I have 8,000 more troops than we do. Uh, which means we need more land to deal with them. Uh, hopefully an alliance with uh, Austria will help out, obviously. Um, and then here we're going to... Uh, covert actions, let's fabricate a claim on Mondstadt. Okay. That will, uh, hopefully allow us... Let's see, we're at five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, and then... Well, ten, actually, uh, plus the two for ten. Um... What I'm hoping fabricating a claim will do is, at least in Europe Universalis 3, when you fabricate a claim uh, and you were a member of the Empire, like if you, fabric if you fabricate a claim on someone in the Empire and you were a member of the Empire, uh, you could go to war with that other person in the Empire without drawing in the Emperor, as long as you had a valid CB. I don't know if that's still the case. Good, Austria entered an alliance. Uh, let's... Alliance with Mantua, Alliance with Savoy, improve our prestige. So Savoy still likes us, Mantua is... Uh, 
I want to wait a little bit, um, because I want to make sure that everybody sets their, uh, yeah, see, Savoy loved us a minute ago, now they're, they are our rivals, so they dislike us. So if I had taken that mission to ally with Savoy, they would never accept that. Um, let's see, improve relations, form an alliance with Mantua, I guess we'll form an alliance with Mantua, uh, think we can, right? Yeah. Good, we got another mission done. Uh, royal marriage with Mantua, repair relations with Genoa. Let's go for royal marriage, because we know they will accept that. Uh, and also, I want to do that with uh, Austria as well. Because again, the more, the more, uh, we can get people to like us, the better off we will be. Keeping Austria on our side is going to be hugely, uh, Hugely helpful. Uh, let's royal marriage Austria as well. Keeping Austria on our side. Austria is the emperor. They are the the big Kahuna here. Um, and yeah, none of these people will ever will never be able to improve our relationships with them. So these are basically garbage missions at the moment. Uh, and then. Let's see, France likes us, actually, we will... And France has not rivaled Austria, so let's ally with France as well. Because we want to keep as many big people on our side as possible, because we know Venice will go to war with me. Uh, we know they're going to do it again, and we don't want them to, obviously. We want to avoid going to war with Venice until we can actually fight them kind of ourselves. Uh, you guys can go down here. Uh, and then... Everybody join up there. You, royal marriage, yes. Good, good, good. Uh, hopefully Austria won't go to war with anyone. So obviously if they go to war with someone, then we will be dragged into that war. Hopefully they also don't hate us. Now, they are rivaled with France, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, we can largely get by that with our marriage, religion, alliance, and improve relations up to a pretty good point. Repair relations with Genoa, repair relations with Savoy. We plan on eating them anyway, so let's not worry about that. Uh, our 10,000 troops. Let's see how many the Swiss have. Switzerland has 8,000 max, and they are not allied with anyone. So as soon as this fires, as soon as this finishes, I think I can declare war on them without... Let's actually take a look here as well. Um, fleet maintenance, I want to get rid of as much of as possible. Uh, I would like to hire an advisor, inflation reduction prestige. Relations, morale of navies, army morale, discipline. Uh, since I'm at 455 f five at the moment, I'd like to get a yearly prestige guy. Well, I wouldn't like to get a yearly prestige guy, but I'd like to get a... Uh... Let's actually lower our army maintenance a bit. Same thing. There should be fine. Uh... Yeah, this is our problem. Venice is the problem. They will attack us. They will eat us if we don't uh, act carefully. You still not allied with anyone. You are 46% done. Let's bump your speed up. Hopefully we can do this without being discovered. Yeah, still just the same missions, which isn't really... For prestige, prestige at least 50. Uh, we would like to become Emperor at some point as well, but as you can see, we are actually quite a long ways away from uh, being able to be elected or having anyone vote for us. I suspect means we need a bit bigger. Uh, we need to be a bit bigger than we are currently. You, how are you doing? 73%. 75. Venice actually likes us now. That's a uh, first. I guess I'll take advantage of that. Um, uh, 
obviously we're not going to stay friendly with Venice. I'm going to take my cores back and uh, beat them up and stuff. November 14... Interesting. Okay. Uh, we fabricated a claim. Good. Uh, let's... You should be... No, we were discovered fabricating a claim. Okay, so, let's see this. Uh, declare war... Yes, okay, good. That makes me very happy. Let's bump our army maintenance up to full. Uh, let's send a guy here to... Let's actually stop relation improvement here. Improve relations with Venice. I know it seems stupid, but if they love us at the moment, then I don't want to bug them, because they have more army than I do when I can't fight them yet. Uh, let's then declare war, take that. Uh, France will not join, Austria and Mantua will. Good. Let's start sieging through the... Let's... Ooh, what do we do? Uh, 6-1... Yeah, let's go fight you right now. No, let's fight you. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to lower the speed a little bit. Uh, we don't have a leader currently, which is a problem. This was maybe not the best fight to jump into because of the fact that, uh... Come on, Mantua. Get to me quickly, quickly! Ah, I lost. Damn it. Uh... Lies with Provence. No, we'll not accept that. Thank you. What do we need to actually get what I want here? Vassalization. 98% war score. Come on. Refill. Troops. Uh, problem, of course, now is that they are sieging every everything here, and I am not. Uh, but I suppose that's actually all right at the moment. Oh, good. I lose the stability. Um, let's... I think I can actually take this Improved Relations with Venice mission. Booster stability. Uh, off an alliance. I still can't because I am at negative uh, six opinion of them. Let's split in half, and half of you go here, please. Good. Thankfully, uh, Austria and Venice are actually kind of on my side, almost. Um, don't really know if there's any point to that, but, um, yeah, I still haven't figured out how to do this College of Cardinals nonsense. Uh, sorry, folks. I wish I did. Hopefully now, Austria will not peace out, uh, separately. That's what I want. I want to make sure that they don't peace out separately because uh, currently they will cause me problems if they do. Uh, money, I'm losing money. Uh, let's raise war taxes, maybe. I mean, that helps a little bit. I hate spending this stuff because I really want to get more points for ideas. Um, but, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do, kind of. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking if I can get this, force Savoy to release these cores to Switzerland, eat Switzerland, vassalize Savoy, eat Savoy, then I will hopefully be big enough to A, want to be elected emperor, or people will want to vote for me uh, for the emperor, and also to B, uh, you know, help me, uh, help me get some more troops, some more manpower as well, because I'm not used to this small of a start. I think in EU4, you end up, you actually have, uh, like, 
these four, like these uh, five provinces, or, or, well, I know you have Brescia, but I think you have even more than that, so it's a bit different. Uh, shouldn't have gone after their frickin' army, though. Uh, it was so stupid of me. I had just not gone after the army and just st sat and started sieging. Uh, then I would be in control of all of this, and I wouldn't have to worry about it, per se. Because I am worried about this. If, if Austria pieces out before I do, I end up in trouble. Uh, is basically what it comes down to, unfortunately. So let's, uh... Yeah, uh, that's fine. They have stolen a cardinal from me. It's whatever. Uh... This is occupied by Austria, despite the fact that we were the ones that sieged through it. Okay. Now that's us. Now all we have to do is just have this work. And have Austria not get bored. Oh, of course we... S yep, okay. As long as Austria doesn't get bored of this, we're fine. Come on. 35% chance to surrender. Like, I'm waiting here. I'm so... ready. I just, like, as soon as it hits 100, I'm gonna hit pause. Pause. Good. You. Uh, I actually don't want you... I don't actually want this province. I want... Uh, as much money as you'll give me. And become my vassal. Good. Perfect. Whew. Good job. Step one of uh, Plan Takeover Italy has been completed. Uh, step two will be... Fabricate a claim over here. Uh, I'm going to fabricate Cuneo. Because... Wallace and Vaud are... Are the hour? Uh, I can't even speak anymore. Uh, those two are the uh, cores that I want to give back to Switzerland. So we will reinforce now. Uh, drop our maintenance a bit because we actually don't need it up at the moment. Um, let's go for another another infantry. Uh, if I can get an alliance with Venice, that would be great. Again, I don't actually want to be allied with Venice for any length of time, just... Long enough to betray them, really. Long enough to get big enough to betray them without worrying. Uh, so that went really well. I'm very surprised at how, how that uh, worked out for us. <laughs> kind of shocked, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, I could hire another guy, but I don't really want to, because I'm concerned that we will, uh... Uh, Austria? Austrian conquest of Constanz, or Constanz, against Württemberg, Alsace, and Mainz. Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Fine joining that. Uh, who, are you? who even are those guys? It's those. Not even important. Unless you're an elector. Stop. Holy Roman Empire. Uh, any of you electors that I'm at war with? Württemberg, Alsace, and Mainz. Trier, Saxony, Palatine, Mainz. 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 Okay, so Mainz is where? Uh, whoop, here. Uh, you are at war for... So Mainz is up there. Let's boost this up again. I want to go sit on mains, actually. If that's even possible. Because um, if I can vassalize them, then I have forced them to vote for me. Forever, pretty much. You're at negative 5 still. Austria, positive 138. Because uh, I would like to peace out Maine separately and force them to be my vassal, because then they will vote for me, and then that's good. Hey, good, we got there before Austria did. <laughs> that's the important part. Um, 
obviously Austria will win this war for you know three little pro four provinces against freaking Austria is not gonna will not even cause them to bat an eyelash I don't think uh, but let's up this let the siege take through uh, Wurttemberg produces wine produce wine and cloth not the greatest but not the worst trade goods either uh, so yeah we will we will I suppose stop here and pick it up next time and hopefully trick mains into being my vassal uh, so I'm Manic Mink this is Europe Universalis 4 we'll see you next time take care